Hey, good day. Uh, Barack with Orcan RV here. Uh, we're just going to uh, go and do a walkthrough on the uh, 2020 uh, Viking 2308 LS. This is uh, sitting on a, a 12 foot box here, so it's actually quite a large uh, tent trailer. It's going to be roughly around 2200 pounds unloaded there for you. Uh, so, you know, an SUV towable, for sure truck towable type deal. But uh, I'll walk you around the exterior and then we'll just uh, have a look at the inside here as well. So. Uh, as you can see, it's a manual crank on this, as well as a manual lift system. Now, you can get a, a three-quarter inch bit to adapt there, so you can use a power drill to lift this up and down. Uh, they do come standard with a 20-pound propane tank there as well for you. Um, but uh, we'll come around the uh, back side here, and I'll just explain a couple of the, uh, the other features here. So, you got your 30-amp uh, connection uh, right back here, as well as your potable water uh, fill and your city water fill here as well. You've got your drain for your sink that's inside there. Um, and then uh, as we come around to the back here, you also know they do come with a, with a spare, spare tire and four stabilizer jacks uh, to complete uh, the, uh, the support system for this unit here. Now all these walls, including the bed uh, slide walls there, are all laminated there for you. So really, really, uh, well built, uh, durable construction wise that way. And these uh, bed ends here uh, are on a uh, slide and lock cable system. Um, very unique slide and lock cable system. It's got really good bed supports. Uh, and you can see underneath here, you don't have any additional bed supports. That's because these things are capable of about supporting roughly around 1,100 pounds. Uh, so you're not gonna worry about you know two people being in there this trailer tipping over or something like that, or the bed kind of seeming downwards. So, uh, as we come around to the uh, the front side here, um, the uh, 2308 does come uh, with uh, your solar port here. So, if you want to get a uh, suitcase solar panel, by all means, you can do so. You do have a 110 receptacle outside as well. So, if you need to look, uh, plug anything in, you're at uh, hookup, uh, those kind of things. And they do come standard with a barbecue here. Uh, there is a quick uh, connect LP line just below there to be able to hook up your barbecue, be able to do whatever you want as far as outdoor cooking there. Um, you've got a little uh, lights here for the exterior as well, a little bottle opener. Nice little kind of handy gadget there for you. Uh, now this is a full one piece door here, uh, but you can have that uh, uh, off or on if you want really at the end of the day. Uh, if you want to keep it open and, and those kind of things, by all means you can certainly do that. Uh, and then this is the door uh, that kind of when the uh, unit is closed, uh, it just keeps your, your unit closed uh, as far as when you're in the down mode. So uh, on the uh, outside here, I'd like to show you from the inside of the bin here, but we're gonna sh go through the pass-through because this is already set up here. Uh, really large uh, storage capacity in the bottom here. Uh, and it is an all uh, uh, canvas kind of uh, setup here on the exterior here. These things are really, really durable. Uh, basically what we do is we set them up, you know what, springtime, uh, and they don't really come down until we sell them. Uh, so, I mean, they sit outside, um, they're water resistant, we don't have any issues with water intake on these, and they do have a pretty good, uh, uh, as far as load uh, for snow on the outsides. It does kind of curve on the top here, so heaven forbid you do get a snow, uh, your water and uh, your leaking is going to kind of go off to the outsides here too. So really, really durable canvas. But uh, we'll hop inside the, uh, the unit here and I'll just show you some of the features on the inside. Uh, as you can see, you do get a, uh, a sink as well as a two burner cooktop uh, here as well. Uh, so for any, you know, cooking, uh, maybe boiling water, whatever you're wanting to do that way, you can certainly do that. Ample storage below here as well. Um, and then you get uh, storage just below the sink here too. Additional storage uh, below the furnace, which is a uh, 20,000 uh, BTU furnace on this uh, unit here. So. Uh, if you're worried about staying warm, trust me, it is very, very warm inside these tent trailers, even when it's getting closer to zero. So, uh, as you can see, more additional storage down here. Uh, and then you do have a little full load drawer here. So maybe that's utensils, whatever you want to use it for. So, uh, now this can make into another uh, <coughs> uh, table as far as, you know, an Eden arrangement. <coughs> you can take this out and store it in the front compartment and just use this as a sitting area here. Really nice kind of u dinette uh, situation here. Uh, lots of sleeping capacity in this unit here. This can come down into a bed uh, with uh, the, the, the uh, cushions here making down into this like a double bed here. 
the dinette will come down into another uh, uh, a bed here as well, and then obviously you got your bed over there. Now uh, it does come equipped <coughs> with a, a little 1.9 cubic foot three-way refrigerator here as well for you. So if you're bringing any items along there, by all means, you can certainly do that. That'll run off electricity, gas uh, for you, and then a couple more drawers over here as well. And you do have a little star uh, charging center here, so. You've got uh, uh, two USB plugins here, so if you are uh, hooked up to power, by all means, you can certainly uh, charge your phone if you're out in the wilderness uh, and you need to stay connected. And then you've got uh, your pass-through kind of into your front storage uh, area here, so if you've got stuff in there that you're not wanting to go outside for, you can certainly grab it from the, uh, the inside here too. Uh, now you do have a, a fan just kind of uh, up here, or no, sorry, not a fan, a vent, so you can get some of that uh, uh, cooking uh, uh, out of the uh, the unit there for you and all of these these bed ends these windows can all just be uh, brought down the plastic on the uh, exterior there can be brought down uh, bed ends that can be brought down so you can get a ton of natural uh, air coming through this unit if you if you'd like to do that as well but uh, that uh, wraps it up for the 2020-2308 uh, Viking uh, Brock from Arcan V again here. If uh, you have any questions, give us a shout. You can visit us at arcanrv.com. Thanks a lot.